Hello there YouTube, welcome to my YouTube channel Anthony Allen Edits, my name is Anthony Allen and here in this video I'm going to be talking about my favourite video editor, my go-to video editor Final Cut Pro X or for some of you Final Cut Pro 10 because you don't like the sound of Final Cut Pro X, it's actually the 10th version of Final Cut Pro, actually more than 10 but we're going to get into that and uh, what we're talking about is if Final Cut Pro X is an industry standard professional video editor. So you ready? First I'm going to get rid of, because if you can see the little play bar on which I'm recording this is in the way at the moment. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about why this perception of Final Cut Pro X is out there. Um, why Final Cut Pro X sometimes isn't considered a industry standard video editor. We're also going to talk about why it is, in my opinion, in my opinion, one of the best video editors on the market today and what makes it an industry standard video editor. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's uh, start talking about this. Also, you might hear my daughter every now and then. Uh, I am a dad. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you're gonna have to deal with that. You might hear her in the background. <laughs> She's actually uh, eating her lunch right now. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Let's talk about why Final Cut Pro X is an industry standard video editor and why by some people who don't use the software, it is not considered an industry standard video editor. So I guess that draws to the conclusion of what video editors are considered an industry standard video editor. There are two actually at the moment that are considered very uh, um, high end industry standard video editors that I can think of off the top of my head, even though there are quite a lot more that are used for movies and so forth. My daughter just walked into the room, she's coming to say hi, I think. Um, so let's get into it. So the two uh, editors at the moment that are considered industry standard. I'm also going to stop from doing that. I don't know what you're doing there, but let's not do that. <laughs> so the two video editors that are considered industry standard video editors are Avid Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro. The reason why I consider, the reason why I think people consider Adobe Premiere Pro as a professional industry standard Wait, video editor is, is because it's used by most. What? It can be used on every, every every platform. So I had to make a cut because my daughter screamed so loud that it actually made my microphone just most likely pitch. <laughs> so I'm back. So uh, where was we? So, so the two ed video editors that are considered industry standard are Avid Pro, I think it's called Avid, and there is Adobe Premiere Pro. The reason why these two video editors are considered industry standard are because of the, ev one, one reason is because of the availability. So Final Cut Pro X or Final Cut Pro 10 is exclusive to Mac products. So you can only at the moment buy them if you have a Mac machine, you know, a MacBook Pro or a, 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 Mac, a Mac computer. Um, you won't be able to purchase Final Cut Pro X if you're on Windows because it's not available for Windows. Um, that is the opposite to Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro is much like Adobe Player and the rest of the Adobe uh, software such as Photoshop and those sort of things. They are available on every single platform. So that means that you, if you're on Windows or if you're on Linux or if you're on Mac, you can use Adobe Premiere Pro. Now that doesn't mean that Final Cut Pro X is not... Um, is not industry standard. It just basically means that if a company has a computer machine, they can purchase Adobe Premiere Pro and might not be able to purchase Final Cut Pro X. Now that doesn't make it better and we have more going into this subject. So that's one thing, that's the, that's the one key difference between these two softwares. But as you may already know, if you're a Final Cut Pro X or Final Cut 10 user, you can do pretty much everything uh, that you can do on the uh, editing platforms that are considered industry standard. But this is the reason why a lot of people, when you're working professionally for another company or you're not working for yourself or you're not making video edits uh, and you're in charge of the edits and those sort of things, this is why it won't be considered industry standard because you won't be able to transfer things from machine to machine. You, you will only be able to transfer from MacBook to MacBook uh, or, or, or Mac platform uh, desktop to another platform desktop. So that's one of the constrictions of 
such a powerful video editor, in my opinion, the best video editor uh, for me anyway, and for what I do and my type of video editing and, and everything like that. That is one of the reasons why it's considered uh, not considered industry standard, but that doesn't make it any lesser. doesn't mean that you can't do the things that Adobe Premiere can, because you can. And I've proved that time and time again. But we're not going to put this all on me. We can actually talk about where in Hollywood Final Cut Pro X is being used. So uh, um, one film, film that I can uh, pull off the top of my head is Focus by Will Smith. Now, I'm a big Will Smith fan. I like Will Smith films. I love Will Smith films, to be honest. I like Men in Black. I like I Am Legend. I grew up on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Like, all that stuff. Like, Will Smith, for me, is a an icon. No pun intended, with Jaden Smith icon. But that is uh, a film from Will Smith called Focus that was entirely edited using Final Cut Pro 10. So there are Hollywood films that have been like entirely edited using Final Cut Pro 10. Um, so that proves to you that the capability of the uh, editing platform is of a high quality, especially when you're editing a Hollywood production film. A lot of small films as well uh, that have been released into Cannes Festival have been edited with Final Cut Pro. Another reason why Final Cut Pro X is, is not considered the normal linear first choice for video editors is just solely because there are updates. So, like games nowadays, like uh, software nowadays, like, um, you know, most digital things that you purchase nowadays, there are updates, meaning if you've purchased the software, if you've purchased Final Cut Pro X and you have the internet, you will get updates to make that video editing platform better. So Final Cut Pro 10, I have Final Cut Pro 10.4.6. Um, so it's basically been updated as I have owned the software, meaning that more features have been added uh, uh, different types of transitions have been edited, different uh, types of video editing capabilities have been added to the platform of Final Cut Pro 10 to make it sometimes a completely different thing to what you actually purchased years ago. And that actually puts the software ahead of its other counterparts because there are constant updates and constant improvements even though you've made this one-time purchase of the platform. Now, that can be a bit off-putting to those people who like to have that one platform that does the one thing that does not update, and you get what you paid for originally. Now, to me, if something is constantly improving, it means that you can constantly do more with it, and that is why Final Cut Pro X is absolutely brilliant. For example, if there's a trend going on, or if there's a new type of video, for example, VR, uh, um, 360 video, uh, 4K, 2K, all those sort of things have been added to Final Cut Pro X with updates. Now, the thing that makes the industry go is that the fact that you have to have internet access in order to update your copy of Final Cut Pro X. Now, that to me is just industry being too old for nowadays. So it's basically being a little bit too old fashioned. So the way industries work and the way a, a editing firm is, will work uh, is basically they will purchase a software and uh, um, for multiple machines in a editing suite here, editing suite one, editing suite two, editing m many different editing rooms to edit the one uh, blockbuster film and they will not have to have internet access and have to uh, uh, constantly uh, like learn or update on how to do things in 8K. So it, the industry like to keep things in one straight and narrow path where they've purchased something and it has what they need for what they do without any updates. And if they need any updates, they will pay for another piece of software. Now for most of us, now most of us, especially online and on YouTube, you don't wanna have to keep paying 200, 300, 800 or subscription to constantly get an update or a piece of software that can have the capabilities that you're now after. So Final Cut Pro, in my opinion, in my professional opinion, is a lot better if you're a person who wants a software to be constantly updated and keep up with trends. And the reason being is because you won't have to buy the software again. You will have updates up until the point that Final Cut Pro, say, 
there are no more updates for this, which in my, in my experience is quite a few years before you get to that point. You pretty much have a lot of, of, of take, if you will, from the software. Um, you know, as I've purchased it, I think I purchased Final Cut Pro back in 2014. That was my copy of Final Cut Pro 10 anyway, even though I've used earlier Final Cut Pro versions. Uh, Final Cut Pro 10 for me was purchased in 2014. Now we're in 2019 and there are so many more capabilities. Uh, 8K, 360 video, all this different type of editing uh, um, um, work. The, the platform itself has completely changed. Um, it's made it easier. It's been a lot easier. Um, you know, the work, the, the workspace, I can completely change things around. I can zoom in where I need to zoom in. The capabilities of Final Cut Pro absolutely ridiculous you can actually edit pictures in final cut pro 10 there was um and you know i've compared the software to adobe premiere and the so and so quote unquote industry standard video edit editors and i've actually sat down and realized uh, with using final cut pro 10 and seeing the projects that have been created with the software that final cut pro 10 is very very good in 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 catching up with trends and, and giving you more capabilities longer down the line compared to other software that may not be updated and you're paying subscription fees or having to pay for another version of the software. So that's one thing to consider and that is one of the major big reasons why Final Cut Pro 10 is not considered industry standard because in the industry they operate very differently to the new trend of uh, purchasing online subscriptions such as Netflix or uh, watching YouTube or digesting your media through online streams and sources and that is where society is moving we're moving towards purchasing your your media through online sources which means that when you've watched the film in the cinemas that will then be available at some point online whether it's on YouTube, you can pay for films on YouTube now, or on Netflix. If you've listened to uh, the head of Disney talking about the new Disney Plus streaming uh, uh, um, service, you will find out the direction in which Disney is moving with their media. And they're making more and more things available on Disney Plus because they want uh, to keep up with the trends and what's going on. And sooner or later, Final Cut Pro 10 will be the leader in that trend when it comes to video editing or or media editing, shall I say. Because Final Cut Pro 10 is, is giving more capabilities to being an all-round editor. And I've noticed this, and that's what I've been taking advantage of, and how I've been creating edits that like stand out and boom out and all this kind of stuff. That's how I've been able to do it. It's because I'm using Final Cut Pro 10. And a lot of people ask me, how do you do your chroma key? How do you do this? How do you do that? How, how, um, um, how did you do that effect? How did you throw Yondu's arrow towards the screen? All those different type of edits that I'm doing. Uh, a lot of them that I'm still yet to show on my YouTube channel. All those sort of things I have been able to do with Final Cut Pro 10. And I haven't even scratched the surface on flexing my muscle just yet. So there's a, there's a lot more that I can do. And a lot more that I'm capable of. Thanks to using Final Cut Pro 10. And... You know, it's like being in school, for example, um, um, you know, ma making a comparison to learning in schools now and learning in schools in Victorian times. In Victorian times, if you consider that the quote, quote unquote uh, industry standard for schooling and education, they didn't have technology in their schools. You know, t school had to move forwards in order to keep up with what the world is, is requiring, what the world needs. And, and so forth, you know, the, the, the whole idea behind school is to prepare you for work, and if you're not, if you don't have the, the, the tools for work, then you won't be getting work, and that's the same in terms of YouTube, your filmmaking, your video editing, all those sort of things play a role in in uh, um, progressing, so when, in terms of Final Cut Pro 10, this is why I consider it industry standard, even though the industry don't consider it always industry standard. Now, if you take a video that has been edited with Final Cut Pro 10 and you take a video that has been edited with Adobe Premiere and you do the exact same things and the exact same process, you won't see a difference. There will be literally no difference between the two software. The reason why, again, I'm going to alliterate this again, the reason why 
uh, software and editing platforms like Adobe Premiere are considered industry standard is because of those factors that I've just raised. The things that, you know, it can be used on any platform, uh, for example, uh, it can use Windows, Linux, all those different type of things. But Final Cut Pro 10 has more capabilities and more uh, room for... Um, personalization if you've got a specific editing uh, um, strategy or something that you use or, or, or a preset all those sort of things Final Cut Pro 10 is absolutely brilliant for that and I have uh, um, more knowledge that I'll be giving on my YouTube channel in terms of that the software as well so you can learn a lot more with Final Cut Pro 10 and you can you know uh, uh, put your own flair into it and learn how to use the software a lot better and make those video edits so much more easier for you to do and and give you more capabilities in terms of video editing so that you can do a lot more you know so you, can, you can do a lot more effects you can you can create your own text you can uh, use plugins all those different sort of things we will be going into that on my youtube channel anthony allen edits and that's the reason why you should subscribe because that's what my youtube channel is about um my youtube channel is all about uh video editing and using final cut pro 10 and teaching you how to video edit so at the moment final cut pro 10 is our choice of video editor and i will be teaching you how to create the most awesome things you you, you will not feel inferior at any point uh, when you're watching a film and you're like, how, how do I do that? Or you're watching a YouTube channel and you're like, how do I do that? You will have an idea and you will have a concept and, and the teaching behind you in order to know how to do these things. So, you know, there's a lot more to explore with Final Cut Pro X or Final Cut Pro 10 for some of you because you don't like the X, but it's Roman numeral for 10. <laughs> but there, there's a lot more to come on Anthony Allen Edits. And it's a, a huge reason why to stay tuned to this YouTube channel. Um, is there any more reasons why it's not considered um, industry standard? Yes, there is. And another reason why uh, Final Cut Pro 10 isn't considered industry standard at times is because uh, plugins. So people can create their own plugins. Basically, if I create a text font or a I, uh, effect, a 360 animation, and it is like the Simpsons logo in 3D. And uh, I want to then share that with the editing community that use Final Cut Pro 10. I can cr practically create my own preset so that I can then sell it and people can use my preset in their own video edits. Meaning that I can create the effect of the Simpsons text uh, intro you know, the, the Simpsons and the logo of the Simpsons comes up. Well, I can create that in 3D and then sell it so that somebody else can put their own text for that preset. So instead of it saying the Simpsons, you can put the Allens or you can put, I don't know, what's the name? The, uh, I can't think of a name now, the, the, the Georges or, or, or whatever, like you can put you know, also you can put whatever you want in the in a in a preset. So uh, that also upsets the industry because you can practically uh, use presets to create something absolutely amazing that could have taken a long time to create on a quote unquote industry standard video editor. And that is another reason why it's not considered. Another one, another absolute huge one in terms of uh, getting clients and work for video editing is just lack of knowledge. So there is a lack of knowledge of Final Cut Pro 10. There's a huge lack of knowledge. Not a lot of people uh, know about the capabilities of the software. And what you'll find is sometimes when people list jobs or freelancing jobs, they will put Adobe Premiere. We need somebody who knows how to use Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects for something really simple like inserting titles. The reason why that happens is because they don't know or have the knowledge of Final Cut Pro 10, what it can do or what Final Cut Pro 10 editors can do. So in terms of that, what I have done, what I have done, <laughs> so <laughs> a little bit of an accent came out there, it's a bummy uh, uh, What I have done in the past in terms of those type of jobs and, and uh, clients is I've just basically been like, yes, I can do that. And... Yes, I'm using uh, Final Cut Pro 10, or I just don't tell them what I'm using, uh, or, or I've just basically said to them at times, 
you know, I haven't focused around the tools that I'm using to do that. I basically say, look, I've done that here. Let me show you an example of when I've done that. And then the, the, the client has only been like, oh, okay, that's absolutely amazing. And then I'll, I'll turn around to him and I'll, I actually done that in Final Cut Pro 10. And like, oh, wow, I've never heard of Final Cut Pro 10. I've never used it myself. Or I just, I just, and then they'll, they'll open up and they'll say, I've never used that software or heard of, this, uh, uh, of somebody using Final Cut Pro 10 to do that. And then you'll find out that they're actually a, a, a very happy to have you on board on their team or as a client or so forth. Once you've basically proven that you can do that edit. Um, so instead of paying a subscription for or, or a huge price for a video editor, you can actually use Final Cut Pro 10 to do those complicated edits and those things that those clients had no knowledge that you could do on Final Cut Pro 10. Again, we're talking about the difference between industry standard and Final Cut Pro 10 being industry standard and just not being considered in the top two uh, Adobe Premiere and... and um, avid pro um so that's another reason why it's not considered industry standard but yet more reasons as to why you would want or should use final cut pro 10 absolutely every single youtube video and youtuber that i've seen do edits and clone themselves and all these different kind of things can be done in final cut pro and the, the awesome thing about it is you can actually save what you do as a preset so that you can replicate the same effort again which is absolutely amazing and 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 the reason why I stress to people who want to get into video editing to use Final Cut Pro because you are absolutely missing out on those type of features and the updates that come your way and the things that you can do with the software that again so let's run through the main reasons I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it shorter now and, and get to the end of this video let's run through the reasons why you should buy the software and the reasons why you should get started with it if you want to get into filmmaking, video editing, and creating media of any sort. The reason why you should do and, and, and get started with Final Cut Pro 10. And the reason why it will be considered industry standard in short time. So let's run into it. Number one is because when you've got a big company, they don't want to have to pay for a large internet access to update a software. Or to constantly... Um, uh, uh, tr retrain staff on new features of the software so uh, that's one of the reasons why Final Cut Pro 10 is absolutely brilliant for you to buy uh, if you are a filmmaker yourself and you want to learn filmmaking and keep updating yourself when a trend comes along well, uh, that's another point to mention as well before we carry on to the next point when the update happens it won't restrict you on what you already know or what you're capable of doing it just adds a capability to the software. So you won't be, you know, getting an update which completely, boom, like everything's just completely changed. It it will just literally add things to what you already have. <coughs> Sorry, which is absolutely amazing. And again, it's keeping up with the trend of today. That's the second point that we're, going to, that we're going to conclude on as well. It's keeping up with the trends of today. So we stream things online. Um... Final Cut Pro 10, when it's having updates, will give you the capability of uploading directly to those things. So, for example, you can upload directly to YouTube, Facebook, and elsewhere. And, and that is another amazing feature. Another thing that we've got going on in Final Cut Pro 10 is you've got plugins and presets. I stress this to people who are getting into video editing. Plugins and presets are some of the best things that you can purchase. It makes your job easier. It makes it much easier, saves you money, and you can uh, uh, create a preset yourself so that you can use it again and again in your video editing and not have to stress over hours and hours of recreating things. Uh, it, for example, if you've had a font and you've used the font and you've changed it to make it look like YouTube's font or you've replicated YouTube font or Facebook font for a video, you can save that and you can use it again and again and again. Just literally drag and drop and there you go. So, there's, <laughs> you know, that's another reason. So, I think we're going to conclude on this now. I said conclude way too many times. We're going to conclude on the fact that Final Cut Pro 10 is an absolute must buy and it will absolutely save you time and is up to date and is constantly updated with extra features to help you become the best video editor and the reason why a lot of the time people do not list it in their job description uh, or, or and, and so forth and their job listings on places like such as uh, freelance 
and Upwork is solely because of a lack of knowledge. So you will find that 100% of the time you will still be hired for the job once you've proven that you can do that video edit and that's what you have to do anyway. So <laughs> you're not missing out on anything. When you go for these type of jobs, if you, you, know, you want to earn money making videos, when you're doing that, you always have to prove that you can do what you do or show a portfolio of what you've done. You can simply just create it with much more ease and then showcase what you've done with Final Cut Pro 10 and then just tell them look, later on if you you know if you, if you feel like you need to or it's a must to tell them what video editor you're using you then turn around to them and say well actually I've created that with Final Cut Pro 10 and then the response is always wow no way didn't know didn't even know that you could do that on Final Cut Pro 10 and it's like yes because there's a lack of knowledge so there we have it guys that is uh, if Final Cut Pro 10 is industry standard um it's just not the uh, um, choice that the BBC have always picked up. And that's the reason why it's not considered industry standard. It's just not the normal, like, everyday, every com like huge conglomerate company picks it up and uses it. Like, you know, because of things such as lack of internet access in editing suites and so forth. Uh, but we're moving into the future, guys. And the internet is a huge part to play in our future and what's going on with the industry. So if you want to keep up with the trends, if you want to keep up with what's going on with films, short films, uh, uh, Facebook videos, Instagram videos, all these different things. If you want to keep up and you want to keep up with, with learning how to edit and so forth, subscribe to this YouTube channel because I've got loads of uh, classes and uh, tutorials and walkthroughs with Final Cut Pro 10. It will save you money as well in the long run if you're looking to buy yourself a video editor. Um, I also um, am starting with beginners as well. So if you're a beginner with the software, I have a lot of knowledge coming your way. And I will walk you through step by step how to use that for free as well, guys. It's free on YouTube as well. So you can just have a look on my YouTube videos to get yourself some free knowledge. So there we have it, guys. You've watched Anthony Allen edits. This has been an awesome video. I've been... I've been itching to do this i might even do a part two because i've missed a lot of points i might do a part two to this but i want to see what you guys are saying about final cut pro 10 at this point because there are a growing trend of professionals using this software and it is fast becoming the industry standard for the reasons i've just mentioned so let's get on with it guys let's get some edits done man it's anthony allen edits thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video